Hello best friend and welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day. If this is the first time you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend you have found me, grab a snack and a drink. Hit that subscribe button. I'd be very grateful. You guys, we got to talk. We have to talk about Miss Drew Barrymore because girl, everybody is super pissed off at her so listen drew barrymore um announced i believe it was five days ago that her show the drew barrymore show will be coming back even in the middle of a strike okay so that sort of like written you know statement got a lot of backlash like so much so much backlash from actors you know her co-workers um, people are, are, you know, protesting outside of where she films in New York, I believe. Everyone is super upset because they're like, listen, before you're a talk show host, you are an actress. Like, you work with writers. How are you, you know, supporting this? So she got so much hate and backlash that she actually had to do a video. So let's watch the video and then we can talk. I believe there's nothing I can do or say in this moment to make it okay. I wanted to own a decision so that it wasn't a PR protected situation and I would just take full responsibility for my actions. I know there's just nothing I can do that will make this okay for those it is not okay with. I fully accept that. I fully understand that. There are so many reasons why this is so complex. And I just want everyone to know my intentions have never been in a place to upset or hurt anyone. It's not who I am. I've been through so many ups and downs in my life. And this is one of them. I deeply apologize to writers. I deeply apologize to unions. I deeply apologize. exactly know what to say because sometimes <clears throat> when things are so tough it's hard to make decisions from that place so all I can say is that I wanted to accept responsibility and no I don't have a PR machine behind this my decision to go back to the show I didn't want to hide behind people so I won't and I won't polish this with bells and whistles and publicists and corporate rhetoric. I'll just stand out there and accept and be responsible. <sighs> There's a huge question of the why. Why am I doing this? <laughs> well, um, I certainly couldn't have expected this kind of attention. Um, and um, we aren't going to break rules and we will be in compliance. I wanted to do this because, as I said, this is bigger than me and there are other people's jobs on the line. And since launching live in a pandemic, I just wanted to make a show that was there for people in sensitive times. And I weighed the scales and I thought if we could go on during a global pandemic, and everything that the world has experienced through 2020, why would this sideline us? So I want to just put one foot in front of the other and make a show that's there for people, regardless of anything else that's happening in the world, because that's when I think we all need something that wants to be there being very realistic in very realistic times. So that is my why. So best friend, that was Drew Barrymore, obviously breaking her silence after the huge backlash she got from, you know, wanting to continue with the Drew Barrymore show. Now I was reading the comments and girl, the comments are commenting, bitch. Like I'm telling you guys, you know, they're like, you literally just sat there for four minutes and said nothing. And you know, another comment said, well, you're asking what else you can do. There is a lot you can do. How about stop production on your show? It, this is much more bigger than, you know, just your show. And you are an actress first. So people are super 
pissed off and really disappointed in her because Drew Barrymore, she was like America's new favorite. Like, I feel like she she really, really like took over and, and you know, was like people's, you know, go to talk show. And I understand what she says about wanting to be there for people and wanting to, you know, to, to you know, to bring peace to people and, you know, whatever. Like, I get all of that, but I just feel like that was not the way to do it. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And for more celebrity tea, make sure you hit that follow button. Mwah. So listen, you guys, everybody's upset. If you go look at the comment section, they're like, you know, because she's saying in the video, like, you know, oh, what what can I do? What can I do? There's really nothing you can say. I, nothing I can say or do. And people are like, yeah, girl, there definitely is something you can say and do. And that's stop production on the show. Now, some productions like Watch What Happens Live and um, The Talk and um, yeah, The View, I believe they are not working with writers. So they are, you know, going along with everything. I think what's going on is that Drew Barrymore show does work with writers that are, uh, you know, in the um, W. G A, I believe it's called. If I if I'm mistaken that I'm definitely gonna fix that in editing. But um so yeah, so people are calling her up being like, you as an actress that you've been your whole life, you know what it's like, you know what, what everyone goes through. How are you doing this? And her argument of, you know, we started out in a pandemic, we started in a very difficult time. This is a very difficult time. I want to be there for people. People are not buying it basically. People are like, girl, you know what? I understand you want to be there for people, but be there for your colleagues that have been working with you your whole life, you know? So what I think is going to happen is, I mean, her show has to do a lot with guests. So right now there will be no guests. Right now, you know, her going along with this and not stopping production on this show is definitely doing something really harmful for her you know, reputation. And the issue was, is that, you know, people are just not understanding how she's really not seeing it. She says that it's bigger than her. She says it's big, you know, that there's people's jobs on the line. But, you know, as my, I live in Los Angeles and I have friends who are, you know, in, in the, in the strike as well. And they've explained to me everything. And they're like, you know, it's, it's been years and years of, of, you know, of, just a lot of injustices for the actors, you know, a lot of injustices with streaming, a lot of injustices with with really bad contracts, with working so much and getting so little. And, you know, finally they've all come together and said, we are striking. So for Drew Barrymore, which she started as an actress at like six years old to like, you know, it, it doesn't look good. Of course she's saying she's complying with all the rules and stuff, but that doesn't stop from it being, you know, not it's not seen very well by her colleagues. So I'm really not sure what's gonna happen with her show. Um, I think that if she dedicates her show for, uh, if she dedicates her show to be, you know, a voice for actors and writers, maybe she can get in people's good graces again, like really expose what's out there. If she can do that, maybe I believe she can get in people's good grace. But yeah, girl, it is not looking good for Drew. And I love Drew Barrymore, bitch. She is one of my favorite actresses, girl. Oh, you know, here's the thing. I, I actually talked to a couple of friends of mine and I, you know, showed them the video and they're just like, I can't believe it. Like, they, they don't believe that she would not understand. It's sort of like, girl, help me help you. You know, help me help you. Because um, they don't, they don't, they can't begin to grasp as to why Drew Barrymore feels like it's so like she just really does not understand it but I don't know you guys what do you think let me know in the comments below I'd love to hear from you guys I hope you're having a fabulous fabulous weekend tonight we are going to see The Nun again because it's a friend's birthday uh, so we're gonna go see The Nun and I think we're gonna grab a bite to eat um, so I'm really excited. Listen, The Nun is worth watching two, three, four, five times, okay? It is so good. It is so scary. It is just a very, very scary movie. And I really, really enjoyed The Nun. Um, so we're going to go tonight, and I'm really excited. We we're supposed to go to see, uh, we're not, no, oh my God, literally not. I We wanted to see Aladdin because it's playing in, in the, um, uh, like a Broadway, you know, not Broadway, but like a theater, right? It's in the theater. Um, not movies, but you know, actual theater. Um, but the tickets are like super sold out and like super fucking expensive, which I'm sure because I've heard that the production is insane. But I'd love to see a whole new world in person. Can you fucking believe how cool that would be? 
Anyways, girl, let me know what you think about Drew Barrymore in the comments below. I love you guys so much. Have a fabulous weekend, and I will see you guys in my next, in my next, uh, girl, I was gonna say in my next weekend, in my next video. Mwah. Bye.